Hello, everyone, and welcome to this introduction and first week for MHA 647, Health Data, Privacy, and Security. I'm Kevin Valadiris, the instructor for this course. I know a few of you from a previous course, and for those of you who I have not met, at least virtually yet, really um, excited to get to know you during this seven-week course in the first part of the fall semester. So, I'm recording this introduction on possibly what I think is one of the hottest days in the planet. I think it's like 450 degrees outside. I can make a casserole on my driveway. If you hear a like a wind, I've put on a video just in front of me of a blowing snowstorm just to just to give myself cool thoughts. So what I'd like to do is introduce you to this course engage you a little bit in some of the topics, some of the activities, and then also um, invite you to participate in the first two weeks, for, I'm sorry, first two assignments in the course um, as well. So this course, 647, is part of the health informatics concentration. I'm, I'm glad that all of you are focused on that. It's actually growing quite quickly, this concentration. So I'm uh, curious, and I will be touching base with you a little bit later on as the course goes through of why you're interested in this concentration, that this is apart from the actual course content. Um, this course focuses on privacy, confidentiality, and security. Um, and I I'll tell you that the content of the, this course really changes at least every two years. And so, you know, the, the topics even five years ago, let alone before that, were not just irrelevant, but we've learned so much as not just as a society we evolved, but our healthcare system changes. And of course, you know, in a lot of ways, I'm, I'm personally trying to find the silver linings, the positive aspects of COVID. There were obviously some awful things, um, but as a society and hopefully as a healthcare system, there were some things that emerged quite effectively. Um, that's going to play a big part in this course, and my guess is in a lot of your courses as you move ahead. So I'm going to sort of adopt, uh, just uh, go through a little bit of framework for the course. You can, if you haven't checked out the syllabus, I invite you to. This is syllabus right here. It's a seven-week course. Um, we're going to think about Wednesday. Today is Wednesday, August 23rd, as the day that the course materials are due. I'm a Wednesday person. I know that perhaps some of your other experiences are Sunday at midnight. I got to tell you, unfortunately, I'm not a Sunday at midnight person. I'm a middle of the week Wednesday person. Think about Wednesday as your class day. Assignments, activities are due by the end of the day. Um, lots of time to do it. Um, certainly a weekend in between there. Um, but we're going to take a slightly different stance this with this course. Uh, excuse me, my information is uh, up here as well as the chair of the MHA program, very involved with privacy, um, data privacy and confidentiality work in some of the advanced care planning work that I do. And also I'm uh, privileged to be on the board of one of our regional healthcare systems, St. Vincent. We spend quite a bit of time in the operations committee talking about this, um, as well the importance of it from a big picture perspective. Um, so let me keep going with the course. We're not using a textbook for the course. In fact, I will tell you, for those of you who are continuing on in the MHA program, many of you are, beginning in January 2024, the MHA program will be textbook free. In fact, we will use that as a marketing slogan. There's too much, there's so much valuable content available, um, timely, um, whether it be any type of resources, case study. So that's just an FYI uh, as well. You see the assignments for this course you'll be using. Um, we're going simple for these seven weeks. Um, you will be working 
on the activities and assignments individually. It's a fairly small subset of you. Um, so this is really individually, but you'll also be connecting with your networks. And I'm gonna explain a little bit more about that as we move ahead. But um, as much as I value teamwork and activities uh, in groups, this will be an individually sort of run uh, course. Um, therefore, um, you know, certainly the activities that we see, and I'll be talking about those as we go through, you can see sort of the, the point scale. You're going to start this first week with the introduction and the data privacy survey and the privacy survey will come back again very soon um, for all of you to work with for the final project. The grading scale of the MHA program, which is the grading scale of all graduate courses, is noted here below uh, as well. Um, let's all strive for the best learning opportunity and the highest grade, shall we? And you can see these are course and university statements. Um, and of course, the latest one that we are discussing at university, as has been discussed throughout the world, is artificial intelligence. Um, and the use of AI in, let's say, all kinds of life. My sense is that some of you are familiar with ChatGPT and maybe use it. If you haven't, check it out for sure. I had an opportunity to really delve into it this past summer. It was very insightful um, and uh, interesting and certainly comes along. With, that's really not going to be part of what we talk about now, it will more than likely be in the future. Um, so let me um, then move to, I'm going to stop sharing this and move to another activity in the program. I'm sorry, um, I'd like to just pull up the, or for you to pull up, if you don't mind, the course calendar and you can look along with me here. Um, the course calendar is set up very simply, just in terms of the weeks, which are Wednesday to Wednesday, the topics that we'll be covering, the course content, there will be usually one reading. <laughs> Many of it will be through fairly up-to-date websites though, um, just because the, the best type of content um, that's available um, is quite honestly gonna be found on government websites. Be spending quite a bit, bit of time pouring through and really having an in-depth understanding of HIPAA, especially the privacy rule. The best source for that is the CMS website. See assignments on the right-hand side. Those due dates are all Wednesday. EOD is end of day. Um, so really, apart from the first week's content, a very deep dive in HIPAA, a mobile health or wearables, private security analysis, and then a user data privacy privacy presentation where you will be connecting with your networks, work colleagues, friends, and families to get it in order to get their input into this. This um, we are adopting a user perspective for data and privacy. I think it's important to understand regulations. Um, to have a sense on the legal aspects and from a healthcare system or let's say healthcare professionals perspective. But we're gonna be putting much more of a slant on obviously privacy and security from the user. I say user, perhaps we wanna say patient. We're gonna use the term user and you're gonna start off with that. So, um, let me stop sharing here and share a little bit more in a second. I want to be able to start off with, um, oops, here we go, sorry about that. 2022, um, the American Medical Association partnered with um, an organization called Savvy Corporate. Did a very comprehensive survey, generalizable throughout the country, on individuals' perspectives on privacy of their healthcare information. Just a couple pages here, but really understanding what 
individuals believe. Now, I'm I'm showing you this almost like a teaser ahead of time because you will be engaged in a very similar survey. That's the essentially privacy survey that you'll be doing. It's got some very similar questions. Um, and we're going to talk about your results and then also how it's going to extend to the project you're going to be working in. But we'll also be talking about throughout the semester. Um, and so this issue um, is really in terms of what users believe and how comfortable they are with their data being shared, being used. We can see the results from, let's say, most comfortable to least comfortable. And really what individuals, and these are patients, right? So they're non-practitioners. Um, they all have a sense of what their health information means. Now, I'm not going to say a great sense. They're not certainly savvy to the rules. Um, most people don't know um, what HIPAA means. They might have heard about it. In fact, I would say that most healthcare professionals probably couldn't even tell you what the acronym means. Um, it's burned into your brain, though. It is burned to your brain as a healthcare person. Um, but your family member and friends certainly understand what privacy means of healthcare information. So we're really going to focus much more on privacy. We will, of course, cover security, but privacy is really the thrust of this course. And um, privacy of their loved one's information, where does it go? <coughs> and then... <clears throat> as we have absolutely gone to a digital format, and that includes not just electronic health records, but access to your patient data, your personal data. I'm not just talking about in a, in a EHR type format, electronic health record format. I'm talking about perhaps the Apple Watch or the Fitbit that you are wearing right now as you're listening to this. And what happens to that information? Does Apple keep it and store it? Where else does it go? Um, what if there are other types of information where I put in, as an example, I have a very simple app on my phone that tracks my weight. And really I'm focusing on sort of moving to what I like to think about as a healthy weight for myself. It goes into an app. And it does all sorts of masterful things when I put it in. Um, and it was a free app and it's convenient for me. Um, and I can certainly put in more information if I want. I can put in my blood sugar information. I could in all kinds of things. It is digitally stored somewhere. Um, so what I'd like you to do is just take a look at the AMA survey. And then afterwards, um, or beforehand, it's up to you, um, complete your first couple activities, including and especially the survey. We will revisit the survey um, as a group, and you'll be using this and extending it out as we move ahead um, with the course, especially to um, the last activity. Okay, so I'm going to stop right there um, and please reach out if you have any questions. I'm really, really glad that all of you are, have chosen to take this course. This, of course, is not a required course in the MHA program, but you are going down this path, which I think is a wonderful one, in combination with your experience, in combination with the other courses in the program. Um, and as soon as my, I, I would turn on my camera right now, but I'm just like sweating. So it, it is a awful view, but hopefully next week I'll be face ready. Thanks very much, everyone. Bye.